Let's take a walk outside. Let's see what we get. Okay. So we're taking a step outside. We're walking around the house to get an idea of how this thing handles in daylight. Resolution set to 4K30. And so, uh, I mean, on the screen, it looks good. Got this on a little tripod type deal. And um, this is uh, extremely bright outside right now. The screen just kind of dimmed on me. Maybe that's something that happens over time. Oh yeah, the screen automatically dimmed. And so, again, just walking around the yard and getting some uh, some footage here to see what it sounds like and looks like. If I were to use this as a vlog style camera. So I ordered this from American Music, as I said, and this little extra piece here, the BTA-1, is actually a Bluetooth controller. And so this allows me to control the camera with the app on my cell phone. And so um, it actually took me a while to figure out where in the heck that thing went on the camera, but um, I'm glad I bought it because it makes it so easy to use. But anyway, so as you can see here, it does come with a stereo mic setup that can be changed and it can be exchanged out. And so reading the back of the box there, you have 4K video and four track audio recorder, high quality, 150 degrees wide angle lens with five field of views, interchangeable zoom mic capsule system, two XLR mic line input with phantom power for the XLR microphones, full color flip LCD for self movie capture, USB interface for live streaming and data transfer, and iOS Android apps for remote control. So let's get into the box here. This is your sun lid in case you're out in the daylight and you need to protect the sensor. All right, and the next thing that you have in here, now this of course is the cable. So it's, it's a USB-A to USB-C because you do charge this using USB-C. And then here's the battery there, BT-03B. So this is a pop filter for the stereo uh, microphone that comes along with the Q8N 4K. And this just goes over the, uh, the, the microphone array there. Now, getting into the box and bringing out the big guns here. This is the actual Q8N 4K. It's, I think it's called Handy 4K, I think is the, is the whole name. But um, they have it in this protective cloth here. And it was so small, like when I first pulled it out, so small compared to what I was expecting. And so there's the, the record button up at the top. I got this upside down here and I'll flip it back over in a second there. But um, on the side here, you have your microphone. You can see there right there, 3.5 for a head, headset green. You have your two XLR inputs and the two gain knobs for those. And then you have the volume button. And at the bottom, you have your mounting point for a tripod or gimbal or whatever you're going to have there this of course is where the battery uh, goes inside right there so let me go ahead and stick this battery in there and then um, it does come off so you just squeeze these two buttons together there and you can there i mean there's five or six different mic inputs that you can put there including a shotgun mic um, that has really great reviews and I, and you know, as surprising as this thing is, I might be buying that. And so, okay, let's get the micro SD card in there real quick to expand that. Well, actually it's not expanding. It comes with zero memory. And so you have to purchase a micro SD card, uh, in order to use this. You won't be able to use it. It does not come with it inside of the box. I'm not sure um, why it took me so long to find this little part right here. I should have just read the manual. Um, but right in the front of the camera is where you add that BTA-1 Bluetooth module. And um, you plug that in there. And then now you have control over your camera using the application that you can download from the iOS or Android Play Store. Okay, so you have you have your mode. 
you have your mode button, you have your resolution button, you have your, what is that one there? You have your frames per second button there, frames per second button there, and then at the very bottom, at the very bottom you have your audio button there and then on the opposite side you have your POV your scene button you have your bright and then your four channel mixer button at the very bottom from the left to right you have your display button you have your play button to play back files that you've created and then you have your menu button there your negative 20 pad you have your phantom power all the way up to 48 and then you have this button here is the button up top for the mic array that's on top and then the one and two of course are your XLR channels that you have right there um, moving over to the handy cam here you can see that it is good the, you it is a little grainy um, but there's a lot of features on this and so let's look at the features here so as I change the scene so what the scene is is basically whether it's indoor outdoor and you can see the the lighting change as you change those concert light nighttime and so that's kinda like how it handles ISO ISO if you wanna call it that there's also a bright, a low, and a high, um, which is again like kind of like ISO. But there's um, behind me. There's a big light there that it's having to fight against, and so that's difficult for any camera. Um, the mixer button brings up just the four-channel audio. But I want to show you the POVs here, and so let's go to the top. So this is the top. POV and it kind of has like that fishbowl kind of look here. It's a 2.8 aperture is what it is, but you can see that it 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 makes my forehead look big at first, but um it's it's a really wide view, 150 degrees it says, and then you know you go down to the next, down to the next, down to the next. The closer you get is called tele or and then that is all the way zoomed in and so um, I usually keep it right around there or there but right there is good I'm just gonna run around for a quick second see what the sound sounds like that's it get some uh, I'm not actually focusing on the game right now which one what type of sound comes out of this zoom doing it in 4k while I'm gaming be better. <laughs> <That'd> be better. <laughs> <Ready>. <laughs> yeah, it's Let's show you the pure power of this camera. Quick snippet, quick little series, I guess, of videos. That is what happens when you don't go anywhere. When you work from home, your car sits in the driveway. Nice flip, Ty. Nice flip. Nice flip. 
Can you flip? A front flip. Nice man. Can you do a back flip? Yep. Yeah. I did well, I did two. Can you do a back flip? Yeah. Let me see. <laughs> nice man. You wanna put your you wanna put your uh your arms on so you can go out there in the middle? You want to put your arms on so you can go out there in the middle? So listen, I was extremely shocked at the quality of this camera. There's two things that it has issues with. The first is low light. It sucks at low light. As long as there is good lighting within the room, the sensor does great. But as soon as it has to start working through low lighting scenarios, that's when the video becomes more pixelated. So as long as you have a bright subject, it looks good, which is kind of interesting if this is targeted towards musicians, because usually their sets are kind of low, but um, concerts and things like that really low. Um, the second thing is it was really weird when using it as a webcam. It does function as a webcam really, really well, but it was not able to connect using the third party um, USB hub that I have sitting on my on my desk where I plug things in all the time directly to it. It had a really hard time um, doing any type of webcam stuff from there. I had to plug it directly into my computer that is way over there using an extension cable. And so that was weird, but it's so lightweight. It fits on top of a gimbal really well. It fits on top of like a tripod stand really well. I was able to take it all around the house. I mean, that little micro SD card has over seven hours of video record time at 4K 30. I don't, I mean, there's a ton of stuff that I can probably do with this. And then the microphones themselves built into it, that microphone array, stereo array is really, really good. And I, I don't even have an XLR microphone to try out with this, but that may be something I'll look into in the future. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know your questions. Let me know your ideas. How would you use this? Would you use this for podcasts, con uh, you know, YouTube content creation, um, streaming? Because, um, you know, you saw the gaming footage as well. Man, the possibilities are endless. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, stay cozy in that crazy world. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.